Hello everybody, welcome back. So today I am going to show you how to use CPU-Z. Uh, what this is, it's a uh, piece of software and it's freeware. Um, it basically gathers some information on your computer system and uh, that kind of helps you with, um, like say for instance, and I'll show you this, like say for instance you're wanting uh, to add to your memory or something like that it will give you an idea of what memory you have in there and stuff like that so you can match it up but it will also give you information on your devices such as your processor so with your processor your cpu it'll give you like the processor name like the model number the code name because all processors these days have code names it'll tell you all about your motherboard and the chipset and like i mentioned memory size and stuff like that and it will also uh actually kind of show you what uh what speeds and frequencies that you are running at. So click the link in the description below. I have put that down there for you. It's just this link right there. And uh, when you get there, you will scroll down. Um, this is just the 32 and 64 bit version for Windows. I would just go ahead and get that one. You can also get a portable version of it, but I just kind of keep it on my computer. So uh, that's where you get it. So go ahead and download and install that. I have already done that, so I'm just going to minimize here. And this is the icon that you will get after you install. So let's just go ahead and open that up. It does take a second to open up here. Not too bad though. And as you can see, it's open. And so it is kind of a small window, which is okay. I mean, it's just a tool to tell you a little bit of information here. So you've got these multiple tabs up here. And as you see, your first tab is your CPU, which is your central processing unit or your processor is, um, is what most people call it. So as you can see, and of course yours will be different unless you have the same hardware as I do. Um, I've got the Intel Core i9-11900K. The code name is Rocket Lake. Uh, it gives you the socket information, the core voltage, and core speed, multipliers, all that fun stuff down here. If we move on to mainboard, um, as you can see, I've got the Asus Maximus Hero. And you, the really cool thing about this, that one thing that I really like, let me see if I can find it. Yes, it gives you the BIOS version. So if you have a question about, do I need to upgrade my BIOS? Do I have the, the latest uh, BIOS firmware release? You just open this up, you look at what that is, then you will just go to the manufacturer's website and you will see what their latest BIOS version is. If it's newer than this, you might want to update that BIOS, but if it's the same, then you don't. It tells you here when that BIOS was released. Um, so all pretty good information to have in here. We will move on to uh, memory and the memory that it is picking up right now is DDR4, total of 32 gigs and you got your different channels and frequencies listed over here, which is pretty cool. And your DRAM frequency and your cache latency and all that fun stuff. And um, the extension of memory, and I can't remember what the SPD stands for. I think it's just specifications or something like that. So this will detect, if you look right here, this will detect how many slots of memory of, I'm sorry, how many memory slots you actually have in your computer. So for me, I dropped this down. It looks like I have four um, and that is accurate. But if you click on each slot, it will tell you what exactly is installed in that slot. So for me, it is the DDR4 3200 from Corsair and that is accurate. And it is an eight gigabyte stick. And that is accurate because I have four eight gig sticks, one in each slot, which is 32. Um, and same if you go, you know, slot two, it'll tell you what's in that, you know, and of course for me, it's the same because I have all the same, uh, Ram taken up in all four slots. Now this comes in handy because say for instance, I only had slot one and three taken up because I'm running dual channel and I wanted to put something in slot two and four. Well, if I didn't know what memory to buy, I could just click here on slot one. I can see exactly what's in here. I can see the part number. And so what I could do is I could get online, just search this part number and easily find additional RAM to put in my computer. So it, it's a really handy tool to have. 
Uh, if we move on to graphics here, it detects what graphics card you have or GPU. As you can see, it gives the name, who the manufacturer is, gives you your technology, your size of memory, and everything that you need to know here. And so that's a kind of neat thing to have. Uh, bench, I've never used. I know that you can do some bench testing and stress your CPU and stuff like that. I might do another video if I ever test that and see how that works. I've never used it, so I'm not going to uh, explain this at all. But the last thing I want to show you here is kind of cool. So, you know, we've went through everything. You've got a whole readout of what your computer is, all your specs with motherboard, memory, the whole shot. Say, for instance, you wanted to print that out or you kind of wanted a report of that. All you would do is go here to About, and it gives you the option to save this in text or HTML. And, I mean, you can do HTML. It'll open up on a web browser. Um, but I'm just, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going to show you guys this. I'm just going to save the report in text. And I'm going to put it on my desktop here. And it does take a second. Now, as you can see, I do have the text printout here. So let's go ahead and open that up. Now, you could, um, you know, it, it shows you in each section what's going on. There's all your uh, threads for your CPU or your cores for your CPU. It just tells everything that you need to know. Now, if we talk about like, you know, getting some more memory or something and you don't know what to get, this will come in handy because literally you can find your memory area, wherever that is, and you could print that out and you could take that to, you know, a retail store that actually sells uh, random access memory, computer memory and you could kind of match it up that way. So again, guys, handy little tool. I know it's a quick little video, but I just wanted to show you that because it's such a neat little tool to have. Again, the, the, the link is down in the video description. And if this helped you out at all, or you like it, go ahead and click the like. And if you want to go ahead and subscribe to me, that'd be great because it helps the channel. Thank you guys and have a great day.